Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. Welcome to part 5 of this series on how we can take a simple chord progression, a four chord sequence and try to add our own personality, develop something very creative using it and hopefully, you know, build a song and what you're playing on the piano should ultimately be like a stamp on the song. People should remember the song not only for how unique the vocalist is or how you know, awesome the lyrics are, they should remember it because of the chords and the way the chords are played and, you know, that personality created by those chords. So in this part, all I wanted to say is basically a very simple thing. Explore the opportunity or the possibility of taking the same chord progression but sort of stretching it and expanding it and creating at least two sections of a song which could be a verse and a chorus so maybe your verse could be exactly how we learnt it all the way back in part one or even part two where we learnt the bass line so you go it creates a very busy sound right that's the word I'm going to operate with busy because of this whole staccato nature you know also staccato versus legato all that stuff was happening so that could quite work for a verse but now if you take the exact same chords the exact same e ecosystem and just think of it as a chorus and just change your drum groove okay the first thing you can think of is what will the drummer play next so in the verse maybe the drummer is going doom tak juk tak doom tak juk tak right snatch snare at the two and the four now what if the chorus section the drummer goes a groove like this basically the snare drum at beat three of the bar so what would you change on the piano to make it a chorus more you know open and more bigger and also the drummer is doing his or her job by playing on maybe the ride cymbal a more resonant kind of uh, uh, drum drum symbol or maybe they are opening the hi-hats during the chorus section so what do you do you also have to open so let's see what happens first of all one great tip would be to now start bringing in the pedal during the chorus which adds an additional layer of harmonic elements so i'll play you and then show you so it's the same music just with the pedal more legato Look at my accents. One, two, three, four. One, two, three verses. And I try to be a bit busy during the verse because this is not the most catchy vocal part. Maybe this is really catchy. So your main hook melodically has to be sung with by the uh, vocalist right so you could just keep this sound going a very heavy epic thick sound verse this is what we learnt in the in the earlier parts right part one we just looked at getting that dynamics going legato staccato with the snare drum you know and the overall drum kit in play and then we looked at a bass line in part two so that was also cool right all that stuff and now what i'm just trying to do in this part is just to kind of show you we can put things together now another another thing you could do is you could do your verse with the bass line And maybe the next section you could add like a triplet feel into the equation. This is more eighth note swing. Two and three and four and one and two and three and one. But in the chorus or the next part. Get the triplets going. Again, the drummer is changing the groove. Basically, snare drum at 3. Earlier, the snare drum was at 2 and 4. So this is sort of like the rhythm secret, you know, what these drummers do. The snare at 2 and 4 makes it busy, makes it very punchy and choppy. Uh, snare at 3, you know, generally in the 
overall loop of the bar will make the song very epic and more like a chorus i would imagine and that's how you need to react as a piano player so what are we doing here in the verse we do not divide by 3 we are doing swing with that bass thing and in the chorus bringing in triplets tak 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 and maybe in the bridge you can just like what are we doing we're just doing what we learned in part 4 exploring different inversions of each of these chords so options and maybe break it down Just play around with the inversions and then go back to to the chorus after this part and whatever the most catchy part of your song is you know Honestly, haven't thought of the melody here, but come to think of it, I quite like this progression. So I think uh, I, I'm going to try and make a song out of this, and I will share it with you guys. And you guys should also try and do something with this. Okay. And to conclude our series, uh, <clears throat> I would like you to practice this. Work on all the five parts which we've discussed: dynamics, bass line, time feel, inversions, building themes, and now trying to create it into an entire section. And also. I am on Instagram and uh, I've started using it quite recently so what you could do is you could record your performance record your own take on the music which we've been dealing with send it to me or tag me rather you post it tag me and I will definitely listen to it and try and reshare it on my own Instagram which can hopefully you know give you some kind of motivation as well right everyone again this is Jason here from Nathaniel School of Music and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, consider following us on patreon and download all my handwritten notes as pdfs uh, like the video share the video leave us a comment with something you'd like to learn in the future keep rocking cheers